All right. Um, let's go to today to Jeremiah, chapter 31. It says um, in verse 27, Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the seed of men and with the seed of beast, like as I have watched over them to pluck up and to break down and to throw down and to destroy and to afflict, so I will watch over them to build and to plant, says the Lord. In those days they shall say no more, the father have eaten a sore grape, and the children's teeth are set on edge. But everyone shall die for his own iniquity, every man that eateth the sore grape, his teeth shall be set on edge. Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that um, I made with the fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they broke, although I was a husband unto them, says the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and uh, will be their God and they shall be my people. Verse 35, thus says the Lord which gives the sun for a light by day and the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night which divideth the sea when the waves therefore roar the Lord of hosts is, the, is his name. If those ordinances depart from before me, says the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me. And thus says the Lord, if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, says the Lord. Well, we know that uh, God has made a promise to Israel and he is going to fulfill. I, I, I want to concentrate today on, on one subject, on, on great faithfulness of God. Great faithfulness of God. And I believe that we, we all can apply this um, subject into our life today because uh, everybody is going through certain things in our life and um, we all need God. Amen. Amen. We all need God. You see, sometimes God is absolutely quiet and he doesn't do anything according to how we see. Remember the things that um, we are still people, all right, and we, we are going to be until we die. And because we are, we have a tendency, we have this linear to think logically many times. What makes sense, what doesn't make sense. Sometimes it is a good Judgment, sometimes it's a stumbling block. All right? And we need to learn when to use that as a good sense and when not to use it when it is as a stumbling block. All right? When we come to the Word of God, when we come to the knowledge of Christ, it could become a stumbling block. Because the way we perceive things, the way we see things, God sees in an absolutely different way. He has absolutely different timings, and he has absolutely different approach to that. Amen? Amen. Absolutely different approach. There we need to learn from the scriptures, taking even example on Israel. The example on Israel. That is one of the hardest examples that you can find prolonged example 
on the, the nation of Israel how faithful God is to his covenants and word. All right? How faithful God is to his covenants and word. We all more leaning toward our senses. Most of the time. And the way we feel about the situation. And that where we make a mistake in many ways. And then it becomes a problem. All right? It becomes a problem. God already said in Isaiah 55, as I was sharing that last Tuesday, that my way is not your ways. And that is not a um, warning, actually, or anything that God wants to show. God just is giving us a simple information. By saying to us, remember that my way is not your way, so follow me. My thoughts, not your thoughts, so read my word and believe what I say. Amen? Amen. Amen. This is where you need to kick in with your faith, not with your logic. All right? Not with your tradition and not with your traditional settings or how your parents did or even you 10 years ago. You need to keep your eyes on the Word of God that is strong and powerful to equip you. Amen? Amen. To overcome your logic and your senses. Hallelujah. Man has limits. Great limits. And they come with different proportions, these limits. Some of them have less limits. Some of them have more limits. It depends on their education and upbringing. Some people grew up living in fear. Some people grew up living in victory. It depends. But they all have limits. Amen. Amen. And we use in many times our own tactics, human tactics, to live by, even if we are Christians, believers. We cannot do that. God did not call us to this kind of life. Amen? Look what God said in, in Jeremiah 31, 31. It's interesting that God has to kind of like justify himself. He doesn't do that. But he speaks by saying, look at the elements in heaven. It says, if they will cease shining before me, it means that's when will be the time for me to forget about Israel. Why Israel? Because in the Old Testament, it was just God and Israel. Israel and God. There was no other nation God really talked to, deal with. It was just Israel. You understand? Amen. And it was a, it, they're still chosen, and uh, that's what God says, and nobody will be able to destroy them. Because God said, here is my covenant. So if you think that the sun and the moon, it's only the covenant as a light, they also, God made as a covenant that Israel is going to exist. As long as you look in and see the, star, the stars, the moon, and the light, just remind yourself that Israel is going to be surviving. Now, I'm not talking about Israel alone today. You have entered with God in the same covenant and even better covenant, new covenant. Amen? Amen. If God has said about Israel that as, as soon as, as long as the star and moon and all these elements will be in heaven, so that Israel will be before my face, how about you? Believers in Christ with a better covenant. Yes. Amen? Amen? He will never leave you nor forsake you. Never. Because looking at, at what he said toward Israel, you can apply to yourself and say, Hey, I'm a child of God. Therefore, whatever I'm going through, I know. Looking at the sun, looking at the moon, and knowing 
that God has made the same covenant with me. They're still shining. God will never leave us nor forsake us. God is faithful. What I'm trying to say is that God is faithful. He will never turn away from what He wants to do in your life. Amen? Amen. Never. Amen. See, there are different kind of people in this world. The people that they know Jesus religiously. And people that they know Jesus personally. All right? Amen. Born again. God is going to look after those who are born again, knowing Christ personally. That's their covenant with them. Amen? Amen. And look what God said in verse 27. Let's go back a little bit. Behold, the days coming. Let's forget about Israel right now. We know that Israel is going to be looked after by the Lord. And that's not my intention today to talk about Israel. My intention is to encourage you as well. And myself and everybody else. Behold, the day is coming, says the Lord, that I will sow. God is going to do something. First of all, let me begin with this. As I was meditating this morning on these verses, I love when God says, Behold, the days are coming. Oh boy. It means they are coming. There is something coming. The gift is in the mail. Amen. Amen. The, the, the gift from God is in the mail. I'm not talking about salvation. I mean, if you are saved, listen to this. Behold, and I could rephrase this and say, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will sow a revival. Amen. That's it. Amen. Amen. God's promise. I don't have to question about this. I just have to go for it. It doesn't matter how I feel. It doesn't matter what I see. God says, Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the seed of men. What does it mean? A lot of people will get saved. A lot of people are going to get saved. That's the promise that God is showing that He's going to sow people into His kingdom. Amen? Amen. He's going to bring that seed. It doesn't matter what it is. So behold, behold, the days are coming. And it shall come to pass that like as I have watched over them and this and that, to pick, to pluck, and to break. And that verse is as important as the first one. I was thinking about that and I thought, Lord, should I share this verse with people or should I just uh, avoid this? Because it seems like it speaks about the punishment on Israel. You know what God said? Talk about it. And I will explain to you what I really saw through the scriptures. Sometimes you wonder, why are you going through trouble so much? So, so much? Why you have to just be squeezed like through a meat grinder? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, it didn't make sense to you. Is that right? Uh -huh, right. Oh, that's right. Remember, don't live by your senses. Live by the Word of God, by faith in God's Word, by look at the sun. Look at the moon. God's promises are still yes and amen. And God will bring these things to pass. He's doing something. Look what God said. And it shall come to pass that like as I have watched over them to pluck up and to break down and to throw down and to destroy and to afflict, so will I watch over them. So God is watching you when you go on through troubles. And He's going to wait. Unless you're going to go, you and I were going to go through it. Because there is a purpose for it. Amen. Amen. Learn this. This is not going to make sense if you're going to just look at this with the natural eyes and say, I'm the child of God. It just nothing will happen to me. I'm just, everything is going to be prosperous, beautiful, wonderful, great. It will be. After. Not now. It will be. 
I guarantee you. Amen? Amen. It will be. And God said, listen to this. Let's go back to verse 27. Compare those two verses. Let's learn something tonight, today. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with seed of men. <laughs> so people are going to be saved, of course, and with the seed of beast. And it shall to come, shall come to pass that like as I have, it just like when they were going through trouble and breaking and, uh, and, 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 and molding and all kind of reshaping things in their life, it's just like God says. The same way, <laughs> you, see, you see the point? It's just like I have watched over them to pluck up. It's just like I have watched over them. In those days, they shall say no more. And this and so and so. It's just like... I was over them when they were going through, God says. Likewise, likewise, I will bring blessings over them, a covenant over them, and I will make an increase, and I will bring that revival. So what God says, just like He was watching and still watching over us when we're going through difficult times, so God is going to do things over us when the things will take place. The same way. The same God. Amen. Amen. It means God never left us alone. When we were going through, God was there. Sometimes we feel, oh God, it just when revival comes, when the power of God and the Spirit of God is moving, God is here. When you go in through trouble, God is more here than when you are not, by the way. Did you know that? Amen. Because that's where God is protecting you and making sure that you are not running away. All right? Running away. Because when the trouble is... People run. <laughs> they want to run somewhere there is no trouble. I don't want to go through this. God says, well, maybe you don't, but I do. I want you to go through this. <laughs> the faithfulness of God is very important to know. God is faithful. He's going to bring things to pass. And God says this way. Just hold on. Look at the scriptures. Back into the scriptures. Get encouraged. Because I'm coming to do what I said. Build yourself up. Don't put yourself down. You see, when we get discouraged, when we take our eyes off the truth, and, uh, yeah, and uh, begin to walk in our flesh, what happens is, we begin to move away from our regular routine life with Christ. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. Let's praise Him. Lord, you are good. Hallelujah. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. People from every nation and the, from generation to generation, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you for who you are. We worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you for who you are. You are good. Hallelujah, Lord God. You are 
are good. Jesus is Lord. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. People from every nation and time, from generation to generation, we worship you. Come on, praise him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you for who you are. We worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you for who you are. Yes, Lord, you are good. You are good all the time. Hallelujah. are good all the time all the time come on praise him he is good all the time hallelujah lord hallelujah jesus we praise you lord hallelujah hallelujah lord glory to yeshua we are good all the time all the time you are good Lord, come on, let's praise him. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory to God, Lord, you are good and in mercy, endure it forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy, endure it forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Come on, let us come up and worship. Hallelujah. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. People from every nation and time, from generation to generation, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship, we worship you, Lord God, for who you are. We worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship you, for who you are. Come on. We worship you. You for who you are. We worship you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for who you are. For who you are. For who you are. You are good. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name for victory today. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Let God arise and he will scatter our enemies tonight. Give us a little more juice, Ian. Let God arise. Let God And let the righteous be glad.
enemies discover I let the righteous be glad House of David Jewish Messianic Ministry is produced and sponsored by viewers like you. We appreciate your support, which is allowing us to continue to broadcast our programming. Thank you, and God bless you. Shalom.